thinking about coming up and out of burnout and igniting your passion involves your spirit. How can you get your spirits lifted, as people say? A lot of people don't want to talk about the spiritual stuff because it's invisible, but we have a spirit. We're all spiritual beings of some sort or another. And some people find that through religion, but it's not actually religion. It's a spiritual nature, which is how are we connected to our world and our universe. Following up on the burnout video, and if you haven't seen our video on burnout that highlights the three different stages of burnout, please check the link above and you can look at that video first if you want or after this video. This video's focus though is from burnout to recovery. So a way to ignite your passion, to find your passion and to actually support that so that you can overcome burnout. When we're feeling exhausted and even, even low on energy, we want to figure out how to get that spiritual side ignited along with our mind and body. Answering questions like, who am I? Why am I here? What's your purpose? Reigniting your purpose involves questioning, wondering what your purpose may be. What are your gifts? What are you passionate about? What really ticks you off or makes you upset? That can be a signal as to something that you're passionate about helping the world with. So how we're connected to one another involves being helpful to one another. And burning out and pulling back might be less helpful. So one of the ways we can ignite our spirit and ignite our passion and our purpose will be by finding ways to be generous, finding ways to help other people. Sounds like a, an oxymoron when you talk about burnout. Doing more? Yes, sometimes doing more actually gives us back more. So it's almost like exercise and fitness. Putting out energy gets you more energy. Being generous with your gifts and your abilities to help other people can bring you back joy and excitement. Just like when you give a gift. Give somebody a gift and you're so excited to see them open it. Be curious too. Explore options around spirituality. Explore different texts maybe, talk to people about it, ask about the different ways we can address our connectedness with one another. And then compassion, you know, finding a way to dig deep and have compassion both for yourself and others. Uh, compassion really kind of defined is our ability to have a sense and an empathy for other people's suffering. So the ability to understand and empathize with other people's suffering, as well as your own, if you're suffering, then find deep inside yourself a way to validate that and be compassionate about it. So with the spiritual side, I'll wrap up with, be committed to caring. Even when you don't feel like it, or you're feeling down, you're feeling exhausted, be committed to caring, committed to finding that loving part of yourself that can care for you in order to do the hygiene, the body stuff, the mind stuff, as well as the spiritual kind of effort, it's going to take that underlying compassion, that empathy for the struggle you're in and the struggle we're all in here on planet Earth. It's a challenging planet. Lots of things can bring us down and wear us out. Thanks. If you like this video or any of our videos, make sure you remember to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so that you can be informed of other videos. And definitely send questions and comments, even if you want us to do a video on some topic to do with mental fitness and building strength, let us know. Thank you very much. Remember, take care out there.